back at the tree, dude. Scoot back. Shut up, stupid. We asked you to stay back by the tree. You asked me to stay. I'm telling you to. Well, f you too then. Am I gonna have to go hands on with this guy because he bruised my fragile ego? Before we get into this video, I want to add a little preface because invariably there are people, a lot of people who view this and they find what this man says to these cops distasteful, offensive. They can't understand why you would talk to public servants like this. Hey, after all, they're here to serve and protect us. And it even says so on the side of the car right here. Look, it says public safety. These are public safety officers. A large percentage of the time, and that's why I want to preface this video, a large percentage of the time when you see a traffic stop or when you see police interaction with a member of the public, it's not for the benefit of the member of the public. It's for the benefit of the police officer, the agent of the state. And usually they're not there to protect rights they're there to trample rights. And so I do want to preface this video with this piece of information right here. And if this information that you see on the screen is even close to being accurate, you've got not servants and protectors, you got people who are out there harassing and collecting the rest from the rest of us so that they can fill the coffers of the state so they can be more powerful and we can be less powerful. It's basically a transfer of wealth and power through the agents of the state called law enforcement officers. It says, of the 196 million licensed drivers, and keep in mind, this is a country of a approximately 330, 333 million people. Of the 196 million licensed drivers across the country, approximately one out of every five will receive what? A traffic ticket throughout the year. One in five people will receive a traffic ticket. That's 20% of a population of 196 million drivers. In 2018 alone, over 40 million traffic tickets were issued by law enforcement agencies. Now, what this statistic doesn't say is that the average traffic ticket is around 150 to 160 bucks. So you're talking about 40 million times 150 or $160. On average, over 125,000 traffic tickets are issued daily. That's about 86 traffic tickets every single minute of every single day because that's 125,000 divided by 1440, which is how many minutes are in a day, 1,440 minutes. So that's 87 traffic tickets issued every single minute of every single day times $150 per ticket. Cops generate over $13,000 every single minute. There are 525,600 minutes in a year times $13,000 a minute. That's over $6 billion a year just in traffic tickets. $6 billion. $13,000 a minute police extract from us. So my next question is how many, about how many law enforcement agents are there throughout the country? 708,000 as of 2022. There were approximately 708,000 and that's up from 660,000 the previous year. I've seen different estimates on this, but it's around 700 to 950,000 law enforcement agents patrolling the streets, issuing tickets, harassing. Now, do cops do good things sometimes? Yes, there's no argument there. Cops get cats out of trees. We saw a, a cop uh, two or three months ago who got something out of the throat of this little kid and saved his life. I'm not, there's, there's no contention here that cops sometimes do good things. But I also have no doubt that the Nazi SS, the Nazi soldiers in Hitler's Germany of 1930 also did good things. They pet dogs. They were probably good to their family. Maybe they abused their family. Maybe there's a high percentage of domestic abuse back in the 1930s with Nazi soldiers as there's a high percentage of domestic abuse within law enforcement in America. So I wanted to preface that before we went into this because you have to understand when you see a law enforcement officer stopping a member of the public, 
a lot of people out there will assume that the officer is on the right side of the law or that the officer is doing a good thing, that he's making society safe, that he's helping your community, that he's protecting. And a large percentage of the time, per statistics, nothing could be further from the truth. So let's take a look at this. This comes from Ray Ray's camera, and I will leave the link in the description below. Check this out. Please stay back in the tree, dude. Scoot back. Shut up, stupid. Amen. Right off the bat, the Mesa Police Department proudly displays the thin blue line of domestic terrorism patch. We asked you to stay back by the tree. You asked me to stay. I'm telling you to. Well, f you too then. You I'm right here on the sidewalk, dude. Listen. You, you listen, have, you I'm have, on the sidewalk. You have every right to record. Right. You have, have every, every right, right to be on the sidewalk. When we tell you where our scene is at, Set then up a that's scene. What you have Set a to, scene. Up. I am telling you. Set up a scene. My officer said to, to, to stand behind scene. the tree. If we have every right to record, then that would mean that I am exempt from your edict on where I can record. If I can stand on a sidewalk and I, rec I can record and I have every right, like he said, in the cop's mind, he's saying, you have every right except for the right that I grant you. Step over there. Get back. It looked like the guy with the camera, Ray Ray's camera, was a decent distance away. That is the Set scene. Up a scene. Are you going to push the issue here? Set up a scene, I'm dude. I'm asking you nicely just to back up to the tree. You're asking me. Are you asking? You're flip-flopping. Which is it? What are I'm you doing? I'm telling you to. Okay. Well, I'm telling you now. Back up. Why? To the tree. Why? You guys know. I'm recording. I'm busy, dude. Shut up. You dummy. You're really going to cause an issue just because You're I'm causing an issue. I'm just watching. You're causing an issue, you, not me. Why are you nervous? Why are you bothering me? I'm not bothering you. I'm telling you what to do. You're bothering me. You're annoying the shit out of me. Okay. With your fucking threats. Yeah, I should be able to watch and hear. I'm not bothering you guys. You're bothering me, dude. You ask me why I'm being nervous. Why are you being stupid? Dummy. So this is the Mesa Police Department. One of the reasons you want to be close to a scene is not just because you want to capture video, but you want to hear what's being said. We know that oftentimes, again, a high percentage of the time, cops are out there lying to people. They're misrepresenting what the law really is, or they're just outright not telling the truth. They're lying about what's going on and they will try to corral somebody and they will try to get somebody to talk because everything the cop knows, everything that that person says will be used against them. It won't be used for them. It won't be used for their benefit. It will be used to their detriment. So you want to get as close as you possibly can to the scene, not just so you can record video, but you can record audio as well. Was that so hard? I just heard somebody yell. I don't know if it was from a car or what. I heard somebody yell, officer safety is cowardice. Public safety is heroism. Officer safety is cowardice. It wasn't so hard now, was it? Hey, you have a nice day. Better day, actually. Quit violating rights with your unlawful orders. Toothless bites right there, dude. Toothless bites. You're done. Fucking two sergeants rolling around in one car. The incompetency is high. When Both you're in the street, you're supposed to have a vest on, stupid. He's not wearing a vest. He's not? A yellow vest. Guys, I had no idea that Simon Pegg was now employed with the Mesa Police Department. What's wrong with you? For traffic accidents. Uh, what are you guys acting stupid, dude? Anytime you're on the roadway. 
Okay. You don't know why you guys act dumb? That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Oh, you just prove it. Dumb. Good one, bud. Yeah, bud. Buckle up, stupid! I also want to highlight the fact that this is the Mesa Police Department. The Mesa Police Department is especially evil. How do we know? Because they harbor this gang unit led by Rudy Monterez. Remember what Rudy Monterez and his gang of thugs did to this guy right here? This guy, this is Rudy Monterez. This is the gang unit of the Mesa Police Department. And this right here is Daniel Barraza. Daniel Barraza was holding a birthday party for his daughter. Some pervert came in and started messing with a bunch of kids. Daniel Barraza took care of business, roughed the guy up. The guy goes out in the parking lot, calls the Mesa Police Department, and the Mesa Police Department, who's supposed to be protecting kids and the rest of us, abused the actual protector. That's why I have a problem with these people right here. And that's why I don't have a problem with people verbally manhandling these people as they go about the business of extracting the hard-earned income of the American tax cattle or just generally abusing them by trampling their rights. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comments section below. I will leave the link to Ray Ray's camera in the description. And if you visit him, let him know here's the deal sent you. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and always, I mean always, record the police. I will see you in the next video.